Nation. I am really excited today because Africa is waking up. Yeah. Africa is really waking up. It is exciting because they are realizing what in the heck is going on? Why they are poor? Why they are the richest nation in the world, our continent in the world, and yet poor? Africa is realizing it's not only prayer. It's not just prayer. It's the getting together, the power of getting together on one accord. One of the things the Gen Z are teaching us Forget about tribalism. Forget about religion. Hang together on a common accord because we are all suffering from the terrors of the West. I didn't know what to call them, so I'll call them the West and guess who it is, right? Or who they are. Now, look at this. I'm going to give you an example. Now, hang on because... I want to talk to you about money. Now you know how a marriage breaks up because of money. You know how it is when you have a husband or a wife that overspends and gets you in a hole and you can't get out of the hole, you get mad. Especially when you get ready to go to the grocery store and you can't buy any food or you can't buy enough for the family. You are broke. But he's made a lot of money. You made a lot of money. You have money but just have overspent and overperformed on your money. And you've made commitments to somebody that you're going to pay them back. Okay, that's just an example of what's happening over here in Africa. Have you heard of IMF and World Bank? Well, unlike your local no loans that you get, that we get personal loans, they have a different type of loan. Their conditions of their loans are not that you have good credit. Their conditions of their loans is that are that you do exactly what the, you, they say. You cut your social program, programs. You don't subsidize programs. They tell you to raise taxes. They tell you exactly how to live. They even told tell people to cut their pension programs, cut their education programs. They tell you how to live. You lose your sovereignty for a loan. How would you like that? I want you to hear this because this is why these young people are angry. Now, Kenya took off. They just couldn't take it anymore because they were going to have to pay taxes on things such as bread and sanitary napkins. So they lit a fire and they went after it. They opened the door and we need to, the rest of us need to jump in. But I want you to listen to these young people and what they have to say. And it just started with Kenya. But hey, before this month was up or is up, we've had two additional, it's not even the 15th, Two additional countries of young people, Gen Z's, that are saying, we ain't taking it no more. I love it. Africa is rising. Woo-hoo, yeah. Let's listen to this. You won't believe it. The kind of protest I was seeing in Kenya lately is about to happen in Nigeria. The Nigerian youths are angry, not just hungry. They are angry. They are angry with our leaders who do not even care that an ordinary Nigerian goes to bed hungry. And that is why people are coming out to the street to say, Tinubu Ole, Tinubu Ole, APC Ole. Take a look at this video. Will Tinubu be able to manage the Nigerian youth when they start their protest? Nigerians, 
protest has begun. It has just started in Lagos. When we tell this government that what Nigerians are asking are not much, they are not much. Just listen to these people and provide good leadership to Nigerians. They don't care. They don't want to listen. Now, protest has started. And we know when Nigerian youths mean to protest, this government will not be able to manage it. They will not be able to manage I wonder if they forgot what happened during NSAS. When Nigerian youths came out massively, fearlessly, to confront even the security agents, they could not manage that protest. And that is where they are pushing Nigerians to. The pressure is too much! You from fishing or farming. Nobody, Nobody is stopping you from fishing. It is their responsibility to manage for their life like any other guys manage for their life. In the same vein, we reject the judicial enumeration bill. In the same vein, we are able and we are committed to rejecting the National Assembly salaries and pension. I'm not in support of the bill. And the same thing applies to the National Assembly. It is not something that I am going to support, and I'll never support it, because I'm not here to represent myself. I'm here to represent my people. So for me, for me, you are here to accomplish some of the efforts that some of us were making, more especially as minority representatives. Knowing parliament is number, the majority is the NPP camp. As such, Nalto Mangfinte Alela Fantol minority camp, this country is going to be oxen. And until us young people, will be more of victims. So, Mbemem Faladama Wolongo, Alangan City, we protect this country, Thank we you. defend the truth, and stand towards the truth. Comrades Power. 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 Comrades Power. 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 Comrades Ria. Ria. Comrades Zigi Zaga. Zigi Zaga. We want to unequivocally state that we shall remain unbound. We will not be intimidated by this punitive ritual. Sure. We have only one goal. One to goal. ensure we get rid of bad governance and this will happen in my generation. Exactly. When we say Ruto must go, we are not inciting anarchy. We are calling all the people with oppressive or dictatorship tendencies to book. And we say that no matter what it takes, we will fix this nation. Comrades Power. 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 Comrades Ria. Ria. Viva to the youth of Kenya. Viva. Viva. We say that as a show of goodwill, he should fire and hire accordingly. Exactly. He should follow the constitution. He should employ at the very least a hundred thousand youth and resign from office. Mr. Ruto, if you want to show us a sign of goodwill, kindly reconstitute the IEBC. That is the only way we will believe that we have our best interests at heart. Comrades Power. Power. We shall not tire. We shall not relent we shall not give up in pursuing what is our god-given right because we the people of kenya are the sovereign power of this country complete power comrades ria comrades akchu comrades ziki zaga meanwhile kenyan president william ruto has responded to the demands of the kenyan gen z by taking significant actions after three weeks of anti-government protests, President Ruto has made substantial changes, including the removal of budgets for the offices of the First Lady and Second Lady. Additionally, he has dissolved 47 state agencies. You know, I, I you know, just, it wasn't too long ago. It's not been too long ago. I remember when in the United States, it was, you could not give a person a loan more than about 11 percent something like that credit card loans were maybe around about 10 11 percent but all of a sudden they start easing up now they're giving you the uh loan rate 30 percent of credit card that used to be an illegal an illegal loan rate and who takes those things mostly poor people or people trying to make it maybe middle class they're making a lot of money off of us but let's take it let's take it worldwide IMF and the World Bank, some of you might think it's a good deal. You think it's a donation or whatever, but it's not. So let me bring it down to you. Not only do they have to agree, and a lot of their companies that they want to make public companies to benefit the people, they, they, the, loan, the IMF says they have to privatize or allow private businesses to come in. That's supposed to encourage their economy. Ah, uh, let me tell you something. 
when you look at the GDP of Africa and it says it's growing, but it's growing, but there's no more money in the African's pocket. I don't know where it's growing. It's growing. Money is being accumulated here, but money is going across the border. And plus they're paying loans. And plus they have problems of corruption. And like us, they have leaders deciding they need loans. They didn't ask the African people. They didn't put a vote out and say, do you want to get in debt? Do you want to have your children to be in debt? And do you want to pay that they, you think that it was nice because they did it? They got a fork in there and a knife in there and they're going to eat you up. Hey, you take it from grandma. I know you think I'm a little touch, but that's okay. But I'm telling you, I'm going to stay around long enough. Long enough to tell you, hey, baby, do not quit. You make a stand. And we need to get together and stop talking about this. I don't like Africans. I don't like them. We're black. We are black. We are called Negroes. Whether you want to call yourself one or not, baby, you are one. Whether you're a light Negro or a dark, dark Negro, you are a Negro. And they are after you because they know that you are rich. And you have been favored of the Most High. Hey, you are highly favored. So we're going to take back what belongs to us. Hey, go on, Nigeria. <laughs> go on, Kenya. Woo. Go on, Gambia. Hey, come on in, somebody else. Ghana, you need to be here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Grandma is happy, happy, happy. But I'm going to tell you something. I thank you, all those of you that listen to my program. And I know this old woman, you're being nice to me. I listen to my program, and you, you, you have subscribed. And sometimes Grandma just don't. Hey, I'm kind of slow on that, that writing back, but I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, you, you subscribing. I appreciate you commenting and let me know how you feel about it. Talk to me. I read them. I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying you like it and encouraging me. I appreciate you saying that. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you. And I'm telling you something. If you're, you, you, I'm on the radio station, blacksradio.com. Yeah, it comes on on Saturday at 8 o'clock. You can check blacksradio.com and uh, just, you know, drive with me. Let me talk to you while you're driving. Hey, okay, I'll be talking to you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, this is Janetta, and you're watching Africa Speak. Oh.